A rub and reveal or scratch off can be used across the curriculum. In this first example, the student comes to the board, clicks the eraser, and erases the top layer to reveal a person underneath. The social studies teacher has asked the students to name three facts about that person. This is my very favorite one. Uh, this is types of leads can be used in certainly the English language arts classroom. The students would choose one of the book covers that they would like to write about that day and here's the lead in or the writing prompt that they would begin uh, the lesson on. Let's look at how to make those. To make a rub and reveal, first you need to pull something out to be hidden. In this case I'll grab the little green crawfish. Remember everything that comes out of the resource library is actually on the middle layer which is exactly where we want it for the rub and reveal. This crawfish can be left to move around, but if you don't want students to accidentally come to the board and, and drag it out from behind what you're trying to hide it from, you can choose to lock it into place by right clicking, hitting edit, and lock. Now the little object is stuck right where we placed it. Let's cover it up with a square make our square big enough maybe to cover the picture. We can change colors of our square just by touching the, the color palette over to the right. We need to move our square to the top layer so we choose edit, layer, top. Now it's moved in front of our crawfish, it's going to cover it up. We can choose edit, lock it into place as well. Now when the student comes to the board, chooses their eraser, they can erase the top layer to reveal what is underneath. 